Hint donation. All right, YouTube, we're going to be playing comments. some no ban list right. modern today. I, I didn't know that we were going to. So I'm pretty excited about this. Donation. We're going to start off. Right. I think my which one of you am I stream um, sniping? You can stream snipe whoever you want. It is. So I think we're going to start Pyre, out. Sure, um, I'm pretty sure Johnny's playing twin. This is interesting. So we're going to. Uh, this, this isn't doing anything. He's playing right? twin. So it should be fun. This was fun uh, back before all these decks were banned. All right. Overgrown Tomb's a good draw. I love playing people with cards. You have a stream on in the background. Them. Like, this, Me is, Noah? this is why Vidalkin Shackles is insane against these creature decks, right? It's like, all right, take one of your guys, block, block, block your other guy with it. I okay. have a stream on in the back. Cool? Oh, oh, okay, got it. Yep. Had one opened. Um, okay, so I guess we'll start off here. Let's see what he did with Inkers. Thank God you fixed that. All right. Chrome Mox, Pestermite, Preordained, Spell Snare. So I kind of just want to take this spell snare so that my Bob lands next turn. That's 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 how we're winning this game. Cody Jones, how you doing? Cody Jones got punishing Jen here just for you. All right, so you left probe on Tom, probe on top, <laughs> and he puts that right there. I am fantastic. I'm really excited for this. We also put up a donation thing that my my wife will do a holiday cube draft if we hit the donation or we get four subs today. So. She's a she's a very merry person, so she loves that. We were talking about it. We were talking about it today in the uh, in the chat between the last couple days. There, Cody Jones. All right, so he did hit a land, so he kept the land. Um, he kept land and uh, preordain on top of his decks, so he went top top and drew. Let's hope he didn't rip another spell snare. That was Chrome Box. What shenanigans. What utter shenanigans. So then he put a ponder underneath it. So I still know his last three cards. Wow, he's going. Oh, okay. So he hit the click. So last, he's got one card. He's got Pestermite. So he might have Twin on top of his deck. Oh man, if he's got twin on top of his deck. Alright, Johnny, don't. Because he's got to go for it. But don't twin me, bro. He's got it. That was awesome. Alright, we won't make him go through this. So we got Chrome Mox out of that game. We saw two band cards. Two band cards won in the game. All right, so we want this Thought Seize. Um, I don't think we want the Punishing Fires or the Colagons Commands. I think we want some Missteps. Oh, what do we get there? We got a Streamlabs donation there. You need better goals. Well, I'll go tell my wife that we already made it. I think I want to go like this. I think I just want to counter his cantrips, have hard removal. I think that's what we're going to do. Though the games get grindy the longer they go. So maybe I want to cut keeping this call on screen. One second. <laughs> you don't have to do it yet. We'll wait. We'll do it. We're not doing it today. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Cody. As a, <laughs> everyone's good at something. So I think this is what we're going to do. I'm going to keep this command in, cut a punishing fire, and only bring in, cut one thought season, bring in three missteps. That's what I'm best at. Well, we might as well. So Megan will do the, I don't know if she'll do the, uh, the stream today because she's a little sick, but we might as well. We'll keep it up there. We might as well end the goal. She said she will do the stream. She'll do the drafts tomorrow. They wanted me to continue up, upping the goal, Megan, to more drafts. Life does a cube draft for every twenty dollars. Right, twenty dollars donated. We'll end it 12 31 2017. Copy this link. All right, there we go. What's Johnny doing? Is he just like tweaking out over there? Is Moto dying? Let me get a get my headphones so I can hear all these your matches. All right, I would like to play first. Yeah, we're going to keep this. This hand's a heater. We get two discard spells, a counter spell. <laughs> See, Farby, I would agree that that $100 would mean that I get to stream an address, but I know that you would, you would automatically just do that. Well, this is a little risky there. So I think I'm just going to take his Chrome Mox. Because we want to restrict his mana a little bit. Just ban Farby from counting towards the donations. Farby, why would I ban you? Why would I do that? You're one of my more loyal subs. God, I can't wait to misstep the hell out of one of these. That's a pretty good draw. So let's go like this. Now I can take one of the combo pieces. Or maybe, I can't take the dig, but I can take one of his combo pieces. If he goes to, like, spell pierce this. Yeah, I'm more worried about the pester mic because it just attacks better. I can't wait to misstep. Just misstep the ever-loving hell out of a cantrip here. There's an island. I'm going to play around Blood Moon and get a basic. Because Johnny, Johnny is that kind of guy. Then we'll pass here. So we know four. We don't. He had a random draw step that we don't know, but we know all the rest of what's going on. Can you throw a few Rakdos charms into my sideboard? I'm not sure. Uh, is Rakdos charm good? So we'll play that and pass. We have. We can't just blood Bright elf here because. Like he's got us beat. Uh, if we if he's got untapped untapped red source and he's got us. I just want to see Johnny lose his own combo. Um, so I'm gonna just fetch. I'm gonna fetch a forest here. 
just so that we are fully Blood Moon proof. And we'll just push this, push this guy. It is good versus twin. God, I just want to mess that. I just want to misstep a counter spell, or mis misstep a cantrip. Okay, so he did have red source. All right, there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the mind sculptor. But now we get to spin the wheel. He's going up. He always does that. He says he hates it when people don't do this. So you know his last three cards. It's Dig, Kiki, and Twin. He put a card on the bottom. Yeah, we're just going to get on the board. We're going to crack that Jace. Who, baby? Cast that. Thing is, he's going to be able to dig pretty soon, which is going to be pretty bad for the home team. I'm going to ditch, I'm going to take up and pitch my own Liliana. Whew, that felt good. That felt good. He ditches Kiki Jiki. I think I would have ditched Twin. Because at least Twin you can cast it. I guess just turn off auto yields. With any luck, he just bounces. Okay, so now he's just going to dig. Or he's going to brainstorm. That was awesome. Bloodbraid Elf into Liliana. So, all right. So it looks like he's not digging here. Maybe he's got like a cryptic command. We'll start with this. This doesn't change his dig at all. Like he's going to still dig for two mana. These missteps look a little awkward. I wonder if he boarded. I, I doubt he boarded out any cantrips. So what does he get? We don't really, we might not know anything about Johnny's hand now after he brainstormed, but I would be willing to bet he did not shuffle away dig. I'd be very surprised if he got rid of a dig preordain. Okay. So he probably got rid of Splinter Twin, if I had to guess. So here comes, he is digging through time. Yeah, you can see these all, all over Twitch today. We're gonna have three people doing it. Let's just hope that he didn't find. <laughs> Come on, hopefully we get this Jace off the table. So I'm just going to hit this, uh, terminate this right now so that he can't do any counterspell shenanigans. I doubt he has this twin. I think we're just going to pretend he doesn't have the twin. And then we'll pass. I need like a Bob or another Bloodbred Elf. Get that out of here. These, what is he doing here? He's Jason, me, put a card on the bottom. Okay. Hopefully, it's something we can cast. All right, I'll attack, attack Jace first. And then I don't think I'm going to tick up my Liliana because I want to be able to hold this in case he twins me. I do miss playing against Splinter Twin, but I thought it was fun.
Because I can't just tick up. Because you would need, like, combo piece plus... You need, like, the two combo pieces, but he gets so many looks with this Jace. Yeah, we're getting buried here. Dashboard. Now we just, we probably have to like rip Bloodbraid Elves for the rest of the game in order to have a chance here. Because he's just going to, like this dig and this Jace are just going to bury me. Which means I, maybe I should have left in some Punishing Fires to be able to fight this. You get that one. And he's brainstorming. Yeah, this Jace is just going to bury me. But I get to play this Jace in the next match, which I'm excited about. I've got a Death Shadow deck that's got Death Rite Shaman and Jace in it, which I'm pretty excited to play. Okay. Something good. That's not good. All right, let's attack first before we lose Liliana to make it so that he, uh, wow, is this Jay's gonna just gonna die? Then he plays like a second Jace. Or just bolts the elf. It, it would be really surprised if his Jace is dying. Unless he's got another Jace. Wow, okay. He might have me here when it comes to him playing down a tapper. Because like if he has a, like a, a combo piece and a remand here and then untaps and twins me, I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, and there's the remand. Then we'll pass. I think we're dead here. If he's... If he's doing this and let his Jace go, I would assume that we're dead. This is a Kiki. Read himself into dead. I'll ask him what he wants to do. All right, we'll challenge him to another one. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. I think we're going to stay. I'm going to play one more match of Jun. That was pretty weak. So let me go challenge him to a free form. Oh my god, Moto's losing it. Now we are playing Rakdos Charm. Because we didn't lose the combo there. Like, we lost... We lost to Jace. Um, deck required, format, uh, free form. And then we'll go no banjund.
Yeah, I lost the Chrome Mox in game one. Whatever. Dig was Dig was whatever. We got wrecked by uh who would like to play first. So I think I'm gonna keep this because he needs two removal spells to get me. And like if we draw if like the Death Ray Shaman or the Bod Libs are in good shape. This might be loose, but I wanna just play Death Ray Shaman. Is there merit to waiting until his turn? Sorry, just tuned in. If we already had to land. There's the best planeswalker in the matchup, yeah. So Tilnister, he tapped down my um he tapped down my red source and a turn. And again, I really don't like mulliganing in these kind of matchups. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna just gonna attack with the Death Rite Shaman and then play a Bob. Probably off this Grove. I could like bluff it, but I would think I'd rather just get a point in. Because if he wants to bolt this Bob, then he's gonna take three. And then we already then he's down to 14. And we're kind of like nickel and diming him. Oh wow, it's Bob lives. Are we gonna get to tell me we're gonna be able to draw some cards. Wow, we might, we might, oh wow. Come on, Bob, flip me a bloodbraid elf. Okay, decay's not bad. Blooming Marsh is bad. Get in there with Bob. And hopefully we find some, uh, I'd love to find a Punishing Fire. And then just play this. Filter some lands out of our deck. I guess I should turn off the auto yield. I gotta remember to play around Snapcaster Mage. Because, like, by eating, like, I, I, I don't necessarily remember the Snapcaster Mage, Death Rite Shaman Dance. So, eat the Preordain, because it's better than the Probe. Maybe he'll cast, like, a Pestermite and untap my Death Rite Shaman so I can eat another card. So I'm going to go get Overgrown Tomb. It doesn't really matter. Come on, Bloodbraid Elf. Fatal Push is good. So I'll play this out so that I can kill a Pestermite with a Fatal Push. What is going to suck is if he plays like Jace and bounces my Bob. It just like slows me down a lot. 13 viewers, we're playing some no banless modern. All right, we're going to see what he does because we'll probably kill this with the trigger on the stack. Okay, so let's eat this. And then I'll go fetch a basic and fatal push this. And then we have abrupt decay also. <clears throat> and then he's, I guess I've only got two more spells in the yard, so it's going to take a little while to kill him. Yeah, we're playing some no ban list modern today. We've got, uh, I guess I can post, link the uh, post in uh, 
in the chat so you can see all the decks we're going to be playing today. Oh, he's missing land drops. Okay. Give me a Blood Braid Elf. I just want a Blood Braid Elf. Come on, Grove. What a joke. All right. So here's a big question. Can we win this game only drawing like two spells? Come in with Bob. It is pretty scary that Johnny's got, you know, six or seven spells. Cause, cause we have, um, we have Deathrite Shaman, and look how many cantrips there are. This seems odd that he's not untapping one of his lands. So let's go exile. Then we'll just decay this green. And then I'll probably just play this Blooming Marsh tapped. I mean, he's dead on the untapped. This death, like, look at this. We only literally drew, like, this Bob has been sweet because we've drawn a million cards off of it. But we've only drawn two spells, and we're probably going to win the game because of the Shaman. Yeah, man, that's what we're doing. Sultai Turbo Jace. Punishing Fire is what we want. Bad. We have, I probably should have played Blood Crypt so that I could double Punishing Fire. All right. So we finally were drawing a good one. So I think I want to keep, after watching how that match played out, I think I want to keep some of the burn in my deck. I don't think I want the missteps. We'll get another discard spell. We'll cut... Cut, like, maybe a Punishing Fire. Then maybe, like... Well, I guess I want an Elf to be able to hit his Jace with. Could bring in Pulse, because it kills Jace. Um, I don't really know how to sideboard. Because we don't play this format. <laughs> Johnny beat me in the first match 2-0 pretty handily. He... He Chrome Moxed me out of the game. Okay, command seems awful. Okay. Um, and he and then he like chrome mocks me and twinned me on three. Like he was on the play, and on turn two, he double chrome mocks and tapped down my only land, and then untapped and twinned me. And then he just like ground me out with a Jace in game two. Um, do we want to counter some cantrips? I don't really know what else I'm gonna do here. Yes, the superior player is over in the other stream. Because we're, we're streaming both both sides. We have five decks today, and we're streaming each side. So I think I'm going to submit here. The games do get a little grindy, so I want like two Punishing Fires just to find. K-Command's K -Command's kind of cool, because like he's playing Chromox. Um, so like we can do that, and obviously like I would love to... Chrome Mox into a uh, or Blood Braid Elf into a uh, Colodon's Command. So I think I'm going to keep this, even though this is like, we do need another land, but we got like an Abrupt Decay, which is good. We have a discard spell. Thank you for the sub so far today, and thank you for Farby for his donation. Megan will be doing a Holiday Cube stream tomorrow. Bright and early. No, I just didn't want to, like, I didn't want to play a combo deck. Um, Johnny picked this as his combo deck, and um, and I think Nilla, what was I going to say? Oh, we drew another Grove. Um, Johnny didn't want to play a combo deck. Or, I didn't want to play combo decks. Nilla chose Jeskai Ascendancy as kind of like a Storm deck. 
I'm going to take Remand. Jeskai Ascendancy and um, Infect, like Blazing Shoal Infect as the combo decks of choice. So that's what he drew. He should just play this tapped and preordained. Well, that's that's a bit greedy. Because he just like tossed away two damage. We are going to need a black land. Okay, so he ripped a... So let's find... I can't believe... I'm surprised that he didn't... Hey, man. Nilla is our combo player, and he, he wasn't all about it. Chose not to shuffle. All right, there's our Liliana land. There is no hypergenesis. We've got a Death Shadow deck, uh, Jund, Jeskai Ascendancy, Blazing Shoal Infect, and Splinter Twin with Jace. This is a hand that, like, a Jace will just completely carve away. Or he's going to be able to dig here on, like, turn two. Dude, Farby, if you can put together, if you can put together whatever, right of flame, right of flame storm, then like make it happen. This is a moon. No. We can't win. Oh, Sennessy Spitz is real hard. Dude, put together a no ban list. We'll play today. All day. We'll stream all day. Oh, gross. Uh, we'll just go like this. Hope he doesn't kill me. Just give me a deck. I don't have one. The struggle, my friend. All right. So we got we got two owed. Let's 